Welcome to a very special interview to launch Fun Mandarin. Fun Mandarin is a Mandarin learning program, a collaboration between the Taiwan Embassy, Taiwan Technical Mission, and the GIS. Today, we're coming to you from the Taiwan Embassy, where we get an opportunity to speak with His Excellency, Peter Chen, as well as Mandarin tutor, Ting Ting. So first, we speak to His Excellency, Peter Chen. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Good morning. Thanks for hosting us today. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so we said we have this program, Fun Mandarin, which is a Mandarin learning program. So it gives St. Lucians an opportunity to learn Mandarin from the comfort of their home. But could you tell us, what is it possible also to learn Mandarin in Taiwan? And what would be the benefit of that? Yes, uh, I think uh, Taiwan promotes uh, Mandarin teaching for a long time, so uh, not only for the local people and also for uh, foreign uh, foreign friends, and also uh, Taiwan is the best friend of Saint Lucia, so why not choose uh, <laughs> yes. Taiwan? And so through all these years uh, development, um, there are about sixty uh, government approved uh, Mandarin teaching uh, institutes and mm -hmm. provide all kinds of programs. So. Uh, all the people can find uh, whatever program that is suitable for them. And Taiwan uh, also preserves the best uh, traditional Mandarin uh, characters and mm -hmm. also uh, the best philosophy and culture of the Mandarin speaking world. So I think okay. Taiwan is a perfect place to learn Mandarin. Okay, nice. So if someone chooses to go to Taiwan to learn Mandarin, the course could be prohibitive. Are there um, scholarships available? Yeah, we provide some scholarship, uh, like uh, Taiwan scholarship that we provide to St. Uh, every year. And also uh, the, some of the Mandarin Teaching Institute also provide some scholarship. And the uh, uh, living cost is considerably uh, low compared to okay. other countries. So I think uh, that's a really good uh, environment for uh, learning language and also enjoy the culture. Okay, so tell me, is it like, is safe and secure to go to Taiwan? Uh, Taiwan, uh, we have a free and democratic society, mm -hmm. just like uh, people enjoy in St. Lucia. And Taiwan uh, is, the, I think, the number one safe place uh, uh, selected by expatriates in the world. So oh, nice. uh, it will be quite safe in Taiwan. Okay, so how easy to, is it to travel to Taiwan? Like if I'm coming from St. Lucia, how easy is it to get across yeah, to Taiwan? There's all kinds of uh, uh, air, airline that uh, connect uh, St. Lucia to a uh, different place in uh, other country and then to Taiwan. So it's very easy and also the transportation in Taiwan is very convenient. We have uh, metro in the city, we have high speed rail connect uh, north and south and all the public bus and mm, nice. all kinds of uh, transportation. So it's easy to access everywhere. Okay. You know. So coming back to Mandarin and Mandarin teaching in St. Lucia, we know that we have Ting Ting. Is, will it be a regular thing to have teachers sent to St. Lucia, Mandarin teachers sent yes, to St. Uh, Lucia? We are really uh, great that we have Ting Ting uh, coming to St. Lucia to promote Mandarin uh, course. And now we are working with the uh, Ministry of Education to uh, try to uh, figure out a, a Mandarin curriculum for uh, school. And oh, nice. uh, I really admire the uh, leadership and vision of Prime Minister Fee JPA and Education Minister Sean Edwards to enhance or promote Mandarin or foreign language uh, mm -hmm. in school uh, education. And so that's why uh, I think very soon we will send a, a new Mandarin teacher uh, coming over to uh, try to promote or enhance uh, Mandarin education. So you're saying like in secondary schools we could have Mandarin? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so uh, hopefully uh, in the near future, we will start uh, teaching Mandarin in secondary school. Okay. So, well, thank you, Ambassador. Is there anything else you want to tell us about like the future plans? Uh, because uh, promoting uh, Mandarin or promoting cultural exchange is also one of the goals of uh, my embassy. And uh, this year, we are glad that we implement the first ever uh, test of uh, Chinese as foreign language. Uh, in Caribbean region and hopefully in the future we will have more uh, that kind of test and encourage more people to try to learn a Mandarin or to uh, emerge in different culture. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Ambassador. So now we're going to take a look at the first episode of Fun Mandarin and then when we get back, we'll have a chat with Ting Ting.
Right? Thank you. Thank you so much, Ambassador. And later on, um, you're going to be presenting to our, the Ministry of Education, the program. So, guys, just stay tuned. A lot more to come up. Welcome to Fun Mandarin. I'm Tintin from Taiwan Technical Mission. What do you know about Mandarin? Well, first one, I would like to talk about characters. It seems complicated. Actually, it is. Characters are very different from the alphabet system. For beginners, we use pinyin to assist. Pinyin is a tool to help with pronunciation, listening, and speaking. To be honest, there is no pinyin in real life. So it's better if learners can recognize and remember characters. It takes time to learn characters, so we just put it behind right now. Let's talk about tones. Mandarin is also a tonal language, like many Asian languages. Different tones means different things, even the word is composed by the same initial and final. For example, E, 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 they're different things. Let's try together. E is a high flat tone. Try to keep saying words in this tone. Sounds like robot, right? And E is rising tone. It's rising, so you need to be pronounced from low to high, like E, E. It's a low tone. The original tone is like a, a check. The high, low, and high. E, E. However, we only pronounce the first part, short, low one, E, E. And last, E is a falling tone. It's a bit difficult. You need to think you are excited. Imagine that you are watching a soccer game and the game hits up. The player is going to shoot. What will you say? Like, go, go. Yeah, so pronounce E like that. E. Okay, so more practice. Let's see the other group. Ma, ma, high flat, ma, and ma. Rising, ma, and short low one, ma, ma, and falling, ma, ma. Okay, after tones, let's talk about personal pronouns. Ni, it means you, ni, and wo, wo, means I, wo, and ta. Ta, ta means he. Can you distinguish the tones of the personal pronouns? Ni, wo, ta. Let's learn how to say hello in Mandarin. Ni hao. One more time. Ni hao. Hao means good or nice. So ni hao means you good. And actually the meaning is Hello, ni hao, ni hao. All right, let's learn a word. Shi is a falling tone. Shi. Shi is verb to be. And in Mandarin, there is no tense, neither verbal conjugation. So we say shi. Ni shi, you are. Wo shi, I am. Ta shi, he is. Shi. So we can use the word and put a name after it. Like, 我是 Ting Ting. I am Ting Ting. 我是 Ting Ting. Like that. Except name, we can also put nationalities. So let's learn some countries. Uh, San Lucia. 圣路西亚. 圣路西亚. So if you want to say, I am San Lucian. 我是 
Shen Lu Xi Ya Ren. We put Ren means human or people in the end. Shen Lu Xi Ya Ren. San Lucia. People from San Lucia. Okay, again. Wa Shi Shen Lu Xi Ya Ren. So let's learn how to make questions. We just need to put ma in the end of sentence. It will become a question. So, are you San Lucian? 你是圣路西亚人吗? One more time. 你是圣路西亚人吗? Put ma in the end. So, what's your answer? 我是 Shen Lu Xi Ya Ren. I am San Lucian, right? Wa Shi Shen Lu Xi Ya Ren. And let's learn the other question particle called no. No. It's like to ask bonds questions. Ni no means and you? How about you? Or what about you? Ni no. So the sentence. Wa Shi Shen Lu Xi Ya Ren. Ni no. Okay, but actually, I'm not San Lucian, I'm Taiwanese. So I would say, 我是台湾人。你呢? 我是台湾人。Okay, so after we have we learned the personal pronouns, 你呢? means and you, and how about and he, how to say and he? 他,他呢? 他呢? And the sentence, 我是台湾人,他呢? And 他也是台湾人,也 means also or to or either. 他也是台湾人. So, wait, let's practice the tones. Tones, okay. So the high flat tone, 妈, Ma, 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 uh -huh. high ma. and flat. Ma, ma. Okay, good. And the rising one, ma, ma, mm -hmm. from low to high. Ma, ma. yes, perfect. Yeah. Good. And the short low one, ma, ma, mm -hmm. ma. Yeah, one more time. Ma, yes, ma, 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 mm -hmm. ma. yes, good. Okay. And the falling one, ma, ma. Mm -hmm. Try one more time. Ma. Ma. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think you are excited. Ma. Ma. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Ma. let's try the other group. The uh, first one. E. 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 Mm -hmm. High and flat. E. e. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the rising one. E. No. <laughs> <laughs> Good try. <laughs> okay, let's try again. So you know uh, it? It's E. E, mm -hmm. e, e, okay. E, yes, it's rising. So e. it's rising. E, mm -hmm. e, yes, good. Mm. And the short low one, e, 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 e. Mm -hmm. e. Back when you say well, uh, e, e. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the falling one, falling, excited. E, yes. I hope you have fun learning Mandarin with me today. I Ting Ting. See you next time. Welcome back, everyone. That was the very first episode of Fun Mandarin. And right now, I am here with the star, our teacher, Ting Ting. So Ting Ting, what was that like for Mandarin? So there are eight episodes of this show and the content is all about the common life topics such as personal information, greeting, 
family, as for price, and order in a restaurant. Mm -hmm. It's basically the conversations that happen in our daily life every day. We want to bring the most practical conversations to our audience. Very nice. So how did you feel when you were told you would be the host of Fun Mandarin? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I didn't think I can do that. When I heard that, the first word came out was impossible. <laughs> <laughs> because, I mean, I have no experience and I have no idea how to do and what to do. I'm very grateful to the professional team. They have given me a lot of useful advice. Then we did it. <laughs> okay, nice. So, um, so the show is called Fun Mandarin. I mean, what is fun about Mandarin? Because to me, it's supposed to be very difficult. So why is it called <laughs> Fun Mandarin? Yeah, uh, someone says Mandarin is one of the most difficult languages in the world for learners. Have you ever heard that? I've heard that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but in my point of view, Mandarin is not as difficult as people think. I would say it's different, not difficult. Okay. Yeah, because I think each language has its own uniqueness. So be positive, <laughs> no need to be afraid. Learning can be fun and just believe we can do that. So what are the benefits of learning a new language like Mandarin? Oh, the benefits of learning a new language are too many to mention. I have personally learned many languages, mm -hmm. although I don't use most of them very well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it's important to be curious about new things. Mm -hmm. They will make people more positive and optimistic. Okay. And without a doubt, learning a language will help people in a future career because you will, have, you will be more aware of the world and more accepting of new things. That's what I think. Right. So people say it's not easy to learn Mandarin. Do you think that's true? Well, as I said, each language is unique. And learning any new language can be challenging. I don't think Mandarin is any different. Of course, for countries that use the Roman alphabet, uh, learning Mandarin can be more challenging. But for some Asian countries, Mandarin is easier than English. Mm -hmm. For me personally, English is not easy to learn either. <laughs> yes, I've heard that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I spend a lot, a lot of time learning English at school. So I think it's because of region, not so much about the language itself. Right. So what do you think? Do you think there are similarities between Mandarin and English? Are there any similarities in the language? Yes, uh, we, use, uh, we, we use the same sentence structure, like subject, verb, object. But I don't want to mention too much about linguistics. <laughs> Okay, so what has your teaching experience been like in St. Lucia? Because you're a Mandarin tutor here. Mm -hmm. What has that experience been like? Uh, St. Lucia is a beautiful island and the people here are friendly and welcoming. I met a lot of nice people here. And I think it will be an unforgettable memory in my life to be here. Okay, so what are your students like, the students that you've had in St. Lucia? Uh, most of students I have met are bright and enjoy learning. And they are quick learners. I think it's because most of the students have experience in learning other languages. So they can get language feature more quickly. And I have experience of teaching in other countries and I found that St. Lucian students are more energetic and motivated oh, nice. than in other countries. Oh, nice. Okay, Ting Ting, thank you so much. And thank we're you. going to keep watching all episodes of Fun Mandarin, mm -hmm, the yes. eight episodes. Mm -hmm. So right now, we have a handover from Ambassador Chen to Dr. Pauline Antoine Prosper, the Parliamentary Secretary in the Ministry of Education. Uh, today I'm uh, really honored and uh, pleasure to uh, hand over the USB of uh, farm Mandarin uh, uh, material. And this material is a uh, hard work and masterpiece of uh, our Mandarin teacher, Tintin, and uh, also Ms. Tamila Ni and all the staffs from NTN. And I really glad that uh, we have strong support from Ministry of Education. And today we are honored to have uh, Honorable Parliamentary Secretary Pauline Antoine Prosper with us today. 
and I'm going to hand over this uh, USB to her, and I hopefully this uh, material will benefit all the people that are eager to learn new language, to learn new culture, and to expand their horizon, and especially for all the students uh, in the secondary school. It is a great honor to attend this handing over ceremony of the Fun Mandarin Program on behalf of the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology, and Vocational Training. I am very pleased with this new initiative that will benefit the children of St. Lucia. We are no longer confined to our corner of the world but we are part of a global village, and therefore, acquiring a new language will be an asset to every citizen. Learning Mandarin provides opportunities to communicate with countless people and connect on a deeper level across the world, whether interacting virtually, during travels, or studying. I would like to express my heartfelt appreciation for the strong leadership of, of His Excellency Ambassador Chen and for the continued support he has provided, I am confident that the citizenry, schools, and students will embrace this opportunity and it will be a great success. Once again, on behalf of the Ministry of Education and Minister Edward, I wish to once again thank the Embassy of Taiwan for this great initiative. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.